Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to do a little mini haul. Um, we did get some fun things from Target and Amazon. So I wanted to share some of these fun things. They're more for an outdoor space or garden area. So if you're interested in that, definitely want to stick around. But if you have been following us on Instagram, you can find me at Valerie Aguirre. I share a ton of behind the scenes and fun stuff there. So make sure you're following us. If you're following us there, you would have seen that we have been working like crazy on our outdoor garden space and it is finally done. So we will be releasing that video very soon. So stick around for that. But yes, we are doing all the fun stuff now. So planting and styling everything. I made the cutest table. We took down our gazebo and there's just so much fun stuff in this video. So I'm so excited to share it with you guys. So this is kind of just a little preview of some things that I picked up for that space. So I wanted to inspire you if you are kind of revamping an outdoor space or a garden for this spring and summer season, you definitely want to stick around because we have some fun products that I'm going to share with you. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to share with you guys is these are from Target and these are the Smith and Hawken brand from Target. Um, the These are the little garden tools and these are so stinking adorable. I had to pick them up. So they're wood on the top and then I'm pretty sure that these are like steel. They are solid, super good quality. I love this leather detail on here and they come with a little leather thing. If you have like hooks in your garden, you can totally hang your tools up. I love that stamped brand on there. So, so pretty. So I had to pick these up. These are only $5 a piece, you guys, at Target. So definitely had to get all three. They are sold individually. This is the, I think they call it a dibber. So this makes your holes in your soil, the dibber. And I think this is either a shovel or a trowel, maybe a shovel. I don't know what you call it exactly, but still same thing, the super cute brand, very nice quality. Like I was so impressed with these. So I will link um, these below. These are from Target, like I said. And then this is the, I think they call it a trowel. I don't remember what this one's called, but the little thing that you dig with. So <laughs> I am not a professional gardener at all. This is like going to be a total learning experience. So we all have to start somewhere, right? So I love gardening. I love planting. I'm learning. So um, yeah, if you guys have any tips or anything, definitely send them my way. I think that this is, I think these are the only tools that they have at Target. I could not find any more. Um, if they did have any more, I probably would have bought those too. But um, yeah, I think these three are the only ones they have, but for $5 a piece, the quality is just so, so good. So I had to share these if you're into gardening or outdoor space, anything like that. They're just nice to have around, even if you have, you know, outdoor planters or something like that. I always need the tools. So I will link those for you guys below. And the next product is also from the Smith & Hawken brand. These are also from Target and these come in a pack of two. I think they come small, medium, large, or maybe small, medium, large. I don't remember. I will link them for you guys below but these were also really cute. I think they were about $10 for the set of two. I think I could be a little off. It could be 10 to $12 um, for the set of two. And we have actually already used these. We were moving um, our pavers this weekend and these came in so handy. So I have another set of um, outdoor gloves that I like to use, but we were moving our papers this weekend and um, yes, these came in very handy. They're good quality. Like I said, the Smith & Hawken brand from Target, I'm always very, very impressed with. So I will link these below. I love this really pretty olive color and then the really pretty navy color and they have this nice 
um, kind of rubber grip on this side so it's perfect for working outside, gardening, and all that fun stuff. So I will link these below for you guys. And the next thing I found from Target, I'm so excited about. Okay, so this is a watering can. I am in love with this really pretty olive green color. This is like really good quality metal. I love, it is just, it feels so sturdy and solid. Like this is just a really nice one. So this is also the Smith and Hawken brand. They just do such a good job with quality. I love it. So it has a really nice sturdy handle. Very, very cute. I love this little half heart shape handle as well. And this holds like a lot of water So, Okay. And then my favorite part of this watering can is the spout. So if you look at this side, it is a really pretty copper. I just love that little pop of copper on there. So subtle, but so cute. So um, this is going to go out on our little potting table that I made and I could not be happier with this. They also have one that is all copper and I will show you guys that video. It is the cutest thing. It's a little bit smaller. The copper one is about $20, I believe. And then this olive green one is 25 and they are both so adorable. So I will link both of those for you guys below, but definitely check these out if you're looking to spruce up your gardening space or outdoor space. If you need a watering can around the house, these are super cute. So definitely check it out. The next thing that I'm going to share with you guys, you guys are going to laugh, is this little hummingbird feeder. So I am obsessed with watching the birds and the hummingbirds. I love hummingbirds. I think they are just the sweetest little thing. I love being outside. And when I say outside, like I can see into our garden space right from this window behind me. So it is the prettiest view to look out to now, but we get so many hummingbirds um, just in these trees. I think these trees like have a lot of like flowers and things like that. So they really, really like this area. And I thought I could probably start to become friendly <laughs> with the hummingbirds. Um, they are actually super smart. Like I know my husband's grandmother, she talks to hummingbirds like, and they actually come when they actually uh, come to her when she talks to them, when she comes outside and they come out to greet her. So if you've ever seen um, Spencer Pratt, he talks to the hummingbirds too. He's got hummingbirds all over him. So anyway, this is, I feel like this is just a good way to start that. <laughs> so. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I love the copper on this and then these little pink or red flowers, they have to have some type of color to be attracted to. So, um, yeah, you can't really get around not having color cause they really do need the color. But I thought that this was a more subtle one. It's not super, super bright. Um, but I loved the copper and then this antiqued glass with the little hummingbirds on it. I thought it was just so, so sweet. So um, I will link this for you guys below. And then I also got the nectar that goes with it. So I will try and get like some videos or even Instagram if I see them start to come um, and drink from this, but I'm so excited for the hummingbirds. <laughs> yeah, um, my kids like to watch them too. One time I was out, I think this was last summer, I was working in that side yard garden and one of the hummingbirds came down and if you just sit really, really still and you don't move, they don't notice you maybe, or I don't know if they just get curious, but I had one come like right literally almost like this far away from my face and we were just staring at each other and you can just hear their mo their wings move so fast you could just hear the noise um yeah it was just the coolest thing so I, I just love hummingbirds I think they are the sweetest little thing so I'm so excited about, about our hummingbird feeder if you guys are interested in hummingbird feeder um I will link that for you guys below. Okay, and the next 
thing we found are these little stepping stones. I got two of these for each of my boys and these are the cutest thing. I thought it was would just give them something fun to make and incorporate into the garden. They can kind of feel like it's their space too and they're helping and it just gives them something fun to do. So it's um, basically it comes with like the concrete mix and all the little decorative beads and all the stuff to like write with in um, and it's just something fun for them to incorporate in. So I thought that they could write like their name or write something special to them um, on these and then when they're all dry we can put them in the garden. So I thought that was really special and then if we ever do leave this house we can take it with us. So <laughs> um, yeah if you guys want to check these out I think these are these are pretty reasonable on Amazon too so I will link these below if you guys are interested in that. Another thing we got for our outdoor space are these pruning shears. I think these are the cutest thing. They're um, like metal or steel. I think they're steel, but they're not like plastic. They're super heavy, heavy duty. And I like that they're black. I like the shape of them. Just kind of a really neat, they're actually pruning shears. So we plan to do a lot of like flowers and like a cut flower type thing in our garden. So we got some hydrangeas and hopefully we wanna do lots of different types of flowers. So these are for cutting. I'm just like that. If I'm gonna buy something, I always want to find the cutest one for wherever it's gonna go. I always try to get that aesthetic in there. So if you are interested in these, I will link these below, but these are definitely gonna stay outside on the little, on the little potting table. And yeah, these will be our pruning shears for the garden. The last thing that we got is from Amazon. However, I already put it outside and it's already set up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys some video of it and kind of talk over it. But this is a copper hose pot that we found and it is the most adorable little hose pot. I've never had a hose pot before. Um, I've always wanted them just to kind of conceal your hoses and make them look a little bit better in the yard. Um, our hoses also tend to get really like tangled up and they just don't last. They get all kinked and so with the hose pot it keeps them um, from getting all tangled up and it's just so much easier to keep your stuff organized and nice and clean and not to mention it is adorable. I love this copper, super good quality and I love the black uh, handles on the side, that little lid that it comes with. I just think that this is the cutest little hose pot that I have ever seen. So I definitely had to snag this. It kind of matches our garden and some of the things that we wanted to incorporate, which is a lot more copper and warm warmth into our garden. So um, I really liked that hose pot. So we also are looking for some outdoor furniture. We have a nice like concrete slab that we are looking to put some furniture on. Right now we have our furniture or our chairs from the other side of the house. So um, I want to get a, a little conversation set or something to incorporate um, onto that slab so that we can put our other stuff back. But uh, yeah, in the meantime, I will be looking for that and keeping an eye out in something that looks cute on that side. But um, yeah, so that's going to be it for this video. So I hope that this video helped you guys if you're looking to spruce up a little outdoor space or a little garden, um, definitely check these products out. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're always so appreciative of our viewers and all the love you guys give, which is so above and beyond. So. We want to thank you guys for everything and we'll catch you next time.